Howdy, 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 and welcome to the SportsandProject.com YouTube channel. I'm Hersey, I'm out here in the garage, and today um, I'm tinkering on my 2014 uh, Harley Davidson Street Glide. Um, is what I'm going to be doing today is installing a Hogworks uh, lower fairing um, on the Street Glide. Um, it, it's a pretty good kit. Uh, they have it uh, color matched, uh, or at least uh, pretty close to color matched to match um, the denim paint on the Street Glide. Um, I already installed the left side, uh, so we're going to walk through uh, putting the right side together um, and getting it installed uh, down here on the crash bars. Uh, so we'll go over to the lift uh, where I've got all the parts laid out and uh, we'll start putting her together. These are all the parts and pieces for the right side because I've already put the left side together and have it mounted um, over on the street glide. Um, and it also comes with all the hardware you need. Um, so uh, there's some, some screws and bolts and uh, this setup for the, um, um, the vent, the adjustable vent on it. Um, the fit and finish is pretty decent. It's all ABS plastic. Um, the, the color matched painted stuff um, look, looks, pretty, looks pretty good. Um, no complaints there. Um, it, the kit cost right around, uh, it was like $225 with the, the JP Cycles Rider Plus or Gold Club or whatever they're calling that. Um, now I'll link it down in the description um, for there. Um, comes with instructions, of course. The instructions are pretty good. Um, there are some things in the instructions uh, that seem to me are a bit um, out of order. Uh, and, and I'll get to that in just a second as I start putting it together. So the first thing we do is we're gonna assemble the glove box. Um, so this is the, the inner part of the glove box and this is the face of the glove box. And it fits on here like, like so. Now, one of the things the instructions have you do first is attach the vent to the glove box insert. The problem with doing that first is then you can't get to this screw right here um, at, on the lower part of the glove box. So I um, did it uh, as the instructions said the first time, ended up having to take the vent off um, to get those two screws on. Um, for this part of the assembly, you only put the two um, lower screws in, um, and you're just going into plastic, so you know, I cannot stress enough that you don't want to over tighten these, right? Because you don't want to strip that out. You don't want to break it. Um, it's two screws, one in each side. It's just the two lower ones. Be putting in uh, two more um, up top, but that goes on after we put the, the lower piece of the fairing on. So we'll just screw these down. Just want to get them till they stop. Now we'll attach um, the vent uh, to the underside here. Now there's a little post here that the vent fits over. Um, but let's uh, let's assemble the, the bolt for the vent. So. It's a bolt, the small washer, and that goes through the bottom of the vent. And then there's two of these kind of fitted, geared um, pieces that let you open and close the vent, slide the vent, but it keeps it in place. So I'm going to slip those on, and then that slips on that, and then on there. You just got to get it, you got to gotta work a little bit to get it lined up. Um, then there's a, a bushing, a larger washer, and then a small 10 millimeter nut that goes on top of the whole thing.
get that hand tight and grab my 10 millimeter. So what you want to do with this, with tightening it, you want it tight enough that those cogs kind of engage each other, um, but loose enough that you can still open and close the vent. So I actually have got it a little too loose still. Tighten a little bit more. So with that tightened down, the, uh, the cogs there will slip and you'll be able to open and close the vent, but it should stay um, closed. Uh, while they're engaged. Um, so yeah, you just tighten it down against that uh, bushing in there, large washer on top, and now the, uh, the glove box and the vent are assembled. So the next step is to assemble the lower part of the fairing, and that slips right over top here. And then there's three screws holding that on, one up top, and then the two top ones on the glove box here and here. Um, and they're just these little screws. Again, you're going into plastic, so you uh, want to be kind of careful um, not to over tighten them. Just get that, um, that top one in first. Tighten it basically till it's good and tight and stops. And then we'll put the other two in. So now um, that's the assembly of the lower part of the fairing. Um, the vent works like it's supposed to. Open, closed. Um, everything is uh, up. I need to tighten those screws up just a hair bit more. All right, so everything's fit together nice and tight. Um, that's the, the lower fairing. The, uh, the vent moves in, moves out. You hear it engaging those cogs so that when you have it set in a position, it's not going to just close. It needs just a little bit of force um, to close it up. Um, but there's the lower part of the fairing. Now so what we'll do is we'll get the outside piece uh, ready um, to go on the bike. So the way this thing goes on the bike, um, this goes on the inside of the crash bar and then this piece here fits over top of it to hold it on the crash bar and then there's a, like this uh, round clamp that goes on the bottom um, to hold it to the crash bar. Um, to, to fit this on there, um, they've got these two uh, U's here and then they have uh, these nuts um, or bolts that are captive uh, is what I needed to do was just uh, squeeze them down just a little bit so that they'll go um, 
captive in there. squeeze down just a little bit more. And then those all go through the holes here and here. And there's two nuts um, that go on them uh, to attach to the top of the, uh, the crash bar. Um, before we go over the bike to put it on, we'll attach the um, little uh, pieces for the snaps for the, the cover. Um, this is the only thing that I don't really like about this kit. Uh, they fit in there just fine. You push them in. They're, they've got a captive uh, piece on them. Um, you know, these little, they just push through and then they won't pull back out. Um, but the snaps on the door, they, they don't engage very well. Um, so at some point, I will probably end up getting some uh, uh, metal, metal, metal snaps uh, and um, riveting them in there. Uh, but for now, I'm going to do uh, what they've got. I'm going to go over th everything one more time just to make sure it's all nice and tight. And then we'll go mount it on the bike. All right, so we're over at the bike with the fairing. Um, it takes a little bit of finagling, um, but there, on the bottom of the fairing, um, there's two kind of nubs that stick out. Um, this goes basically on the inside of the crash bar, and this goes on the outside of the crash bar. And then in this area right here, the crash bar just rides down through there. Um, I did have to kind of uh, take my um, forward peg here um, that I have mounted on the crash bar, and I did have to turn it. Uh, just a little bit um, for, for clearance. So we'll just slide this in here, um, one on one side, one on the other, and it fits in there kind of like that. Um, and then we take the back piece, um, or the front piece in this case, coming through the glove box, um, and it have the, has those captive bolts in there, uh, and there's two holes that you just have to kind of get them lined up with. Which is actually the, the hardest part of putting this thing together is getting those um, two bolts to line up. There we go. And then there's two nuts. They're 10 millimeter. And then just thread onto those bolts. Um, because of the length of the bolts, you will need a, a deep um, 10 millimeter socket. Um, and I just used an extension to get it started. And once you kind of get it started, uh, you, you don't have to worry so much about it falling. Now, I did not tighten these all the way up until after I got um, the bottom clip on. Let's put both of them in here and snug them. For the bottom, it's just this, this clip that goes around the bars, around the crash bar, you it down there. There is a, a bolt and a rubber washer with some adhesive backing. You just pull that off. So the bolt goes through the clips. And then through the adhesive washer. And then into the 
lower. Now it's got a 13 millimeter nut that goes on the back of it or you know to, to bolt it down. Um, the only problem I had here or uh, I perceive it as a problem there probably should be a washer on the inside. So I just used a, a 5 16 inch washer on the inside of the, the, uh, the lower mounting um, and then the 13 millimeter bolt and get it all tightened up. Alright, so everything's tightened down. Um, it's on there pretty secure. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Um, plenty of clearance for the brake, plenty of you know, room for the, um, the highway peg. You know, everything should be kind of hand tight. You're going into plastic. Uh, you don't want to strip out the plastic or, 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 you know, or have something in there tweaked and, and tightened down too much and then it, it cracks. Um, like I said before, the finish is pretty good. It actually looks pretty good. Um, the last thing that we need to do is just install the cover for the um, glove box. So the cover itself, the cover itself is actually pretty nice. Um, I mean, it seems to be uh, well made. Um, I, I don't think, um, well, I don't think it's leather. It's some kind of, uh, of rubber uh, that um, seems fairly flexible, seems pretty nice. The snaps on the cover itself uh, seem to be pretty good quality. The problem is, is these um, plastic uh, snaps on the, the glove box itself. Um, for one, the first time to get them on, it takes a little bit of work. And this one, is the biggest one I'm worried about. I mean, it, it's captive, but it doesn't take but a very little bit to pull it off. Um, I think I'm going to end up uh, fixing that. That doesn't. That doesn't seem to me like it's the the best. I mean, this is going to end up uh, down the highway somewhere. Um, but overall, pretty nice. I think they look pretty good. Um, fairly sturdy. Have them installed on. Uh, both the left and the right. So yeah, I installed these uh, Hogworks lower fairings on the 2014 Street Glide. Um, overall, pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna take it for a ride and uh, see how uh, whether there's any vibration or anything. The brakes on both sides operate like they should. Everything looks pretty good. It's good and tight. Um, like I said, the only thing I'm really kind of not happy with is the uh, the the plastic retention pieces for the snaps on the glove box cover. They just don't seem to be um, holding very well. I'll, I'll probably futz with it a little bit um, and see if I can make it better, or I'll end up getting some um, uh, metal uh, snaps that I can rivet in there um, uh, to make it a little more solid. Um, so pretty good, pretty good little project. Didn't take very long to, to do both sides. Um, I did uh, the left side before uh, I started videoing just to kind of get a feel for um, how the install was going to go. Uh, the, uh, the right side, pretty much the time on the video is the time it took. Uh, so it wasn't, wasn't too bad a little project. like the way it looks. Um, until next time, build, tinker, and ride. Be safe out there.